Hi darlings, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I wanted to do a bit of a chatty video and just share with you a few of my current favourite things. I guess you could say these are my stay at home favourites. These are the kind of things that don't really slot in to any other videos and yet in some small way they have been making my lockdown days at home a little bit better. So I thought I would, I've kind of pulled together 10 things which are making me smile or making my day just that little bit better at the moment. I'm sure we've all got a few of these things, things that maybe we really look forward to using or doing every day. So I'd love to know down in the comments what some of your favourite things are at the moment. They don't need to be material things, just something that is making you smile and keeping you positive at this moment in time. I have to kind of include you guys as one of my favourite things at the moment and I know that sounds so cheesy but honestly I'm the kind of person that loves to be busy, I love to be doing things and I think that by doing these videos every single day and just chatting to you and seeing such lovely feedback in the comments and I'm seeing so many of you sharing that you're watching these videos on your Instagram stories, I'm trying to repost as many as I can it really does make my day and yes it's a lot of work doing a video every day but you guys make it worth it. I know that sounds kind of cheesy but I guess I just want to say thank you if, if you have been watching all of my videos or a lot of videos then it really does mean the world to me. It, it feels like I've just got a lot more people to talk to and engage with and I would say it's keeping me sane. But let's get started with the other things aside from you guys that I'm loving at the moment and the first is kind of a little additional step in my morning skincare routine. So I have been trying to learn how to properly give myself a facial massage. Now I had a facial with a famous facialist called Nicola Joss, she's done Meghan Markle's facials, a lot of Hollywood A-lister facials before and she when I had a facial with her, it was with Declayor. My skin felt so incredible and like the muscles in my face felt so good for a while after that facial because she'd given me such a good facial massage. It really helped to boost the circulation. It almost gave me cheekbones and I felt that my fine lines around my eyes looked better just because everything, every muscle within my face had been used. So I've been trying to kind of recreate that. I have been using a gua sha. I do have a facial roller as well. I tend to use the gua sha more at the moment because it's really good for massage. So I'll do the neck, I'll massage up the neck. There is a little bit of a routine to this. Maybe I'll do it on IGTV. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do. And maybe tomorrow I will film for IGTV my gua sha routine, but it's really good. You can use it to define the jaw, you can use it to massage around the eye area. And the serum that I like to apply before using it is either this one here, this one I love, it's the Plant Gold 100% um, Natural Origin Ingredients Oil Emulsion Serum from Clarins. This is like a multi-texture, so one part of it is a little bit more creamy and one part is like a really super lightweight oil. I rub it between my hands, inhale it because it smells so good, press it onto my skin and then I use the Gua Sha. Because it has got a little bit of oil in it, it just makes it so easy and smooth to glide the stone over your face and because it smells so good it really is a gorgeous pampering step. I would say I do this about three mornings a week and I feel like it's kept my skin glowing despite the fact that maybe I'm not having as much fruit and veg at the moment because you can't get it as easily. So I've been loving using that. Or another serum that I've been loving using it with is my antioxidant face serum Glow and Revive from The Organic Pharmacy. Again, I like products with a really lovely lightweight oil consistency. Again, this smells fantastic and both of these serums sink in really quickly and easily. So if I want to do my makeup straight away afterwards, then I can. But I'll leave all these serums and a link to a gua sha down below. My next favourite is CBD and I'm the first to admit that I'm not, I'm not the most anxious person, I wouldn't say that I suffer with anxiety but I think it would literally take a robot to not have some anxious days right now with everything that's going on, with so much being so out of our control and being restricted in what we can do, our incomes are all hugely affected so there are a lot of reasons and it's okay to be feeling anxious right now. This morning, for example, I just felt as though I had a big, hairy giant sat on my chest and 
I had to go out and do my usual breathing exercise, which I mentioned in a recent vlog, basically breathing in for four, holding for two, then breathing out for six. In the mornings, I find that really helps, but sometimes I need a little something extra to keep me going. Um, and a couple of CBD favorites, whether you think it's a placebo or not, I think it works. I took one of my CBD gummies this morning when I had that feeling in my chest. I think the brand is Berry Burst um, and they're strawberry and raspberry flavoured CBD gummies. They taste really good. I try not to have more than one a day but that really helped me this morning. If I need something a little bit more then I'll use some drops. These are from Grass & Co. They are the Ease CBD Oil Blend. I'll pop a couple of drops under the tongue. These are the best tasting CBD drops that I have ever tried and I really really like them. These ones are turmeric, ginger and orange, yes, flavour. You really don't get any of that almost muddy CBD flavour that you can get with other CBD products, so I would definitely recommend these, and if you just want something really nice and tasty, then these little gummies are great as well. So I'm a huge gel nail varnish lover. I tend to always have gels on my nails, but I have not been able to while well, we have been in self-isolation slash lockdown, so I have been using a range of nail varnishes from OPI, and this is the one that I have on currently it's a very nude shade this is the shade Samoan sand and my other favorite is this one which is bubble bath these are both from the infinite shine 2 collection longwear lacquer and I would say they each need three coats to get that really beautiful color but they give the look of a gloss they have a really beautiful shine over them and I've actually been really enjoying and finding it very therapeutic to give myself an at-home manicure so these are the shades and the range that I have been reaching for the most. So of course, just like everybody else, Charlie and I have been watching a lot more TV than usual. We tend to watch TV from about like eight in the evenings until we fall asleep at around half 10, 11, we go to bed pretty early. But a few favorite things that we have been watching. So one thing which we are gripped on at the moment, it's called The Nest and it's on BBC. It's not finished yet. So we still have, I think, two more episodes to go. I won't spoil it, but it's really, really gripping. It's a girl who becomes a surrogate mother for a very wealthy couple and let's just say there are a lot of dramas along the way and it's really emotional you don't really know who you feel sympathy for or who you're kind of siding with but it is very gripping so I definitely recommend The Nest. We also of course watched Tiger King which was just absolutely mad. I mean that was, we were just looking at each other like what are we even watching? This is mental. I'm sure you've seen so many people talking about Tiger King online, so many memes and gifs about Carol Baskin. If you've not watched it yet, it's kind of like Love Island in that everyone is talking about it. So yeah, that was just a really weird but entertaining thing to watch. Charlie and I also went back and re-watched Whitechapel. If you like kind of police, detective, murder mysteries, Whitechapel is really interesting. There are four seasons. The first season is all about a Jack the Ripper copycat killer. Season two is all about um, murderers that are copying the Cray twins, all of course based in the Whitechapel area of London. I won't do any spoilers, but we've rewatched the whole of all of the seasons and really enjoyed that. And then one thing that we just started watching last night, which is really weird, is called Fringe or The Fringe. It's like an FBI American drama. We don't really know what's happening yet. We've only watched episode one, but if you like slightly weird, slightly unnatural FBI kind of dramas, then I'm quite gripped from episode one, so I'll keep you posted on that. That one is called The Fringe. I did actually mention these next two in a vlog. They are some kind of practical favorites. I thought now would be a good time to see if I can find a natural deodorant that actually works. Please to report this does. It is the Mat Mitchum Natural Power Bamboo Powder Roll-On Deodorant in the Coconut Scent. It smells absolutely amazing. I like that it's a roll-on and I think it's 96, yeah, 96% 96 natural with no aluminium, so you're not putting anything nasty on your body. And then I have been swearing by my Batiste, not only for freshening up my hair on the days when I can't be bothered to go for a shower, but also my roots. Obviously I am not a natural blonde and I'm not able to go to the hairdresser to get my roots topped up. My roots are about 
that long at the moment and this is helping it to kind of blend the line between where my hair colour starts and my natural colour. It just gives a really nice kind of white tint to the hair which if you don't like that then you can obviously brush the whiteness out but I actually think it's great for concealing my dark roots. This next one is really weird and I debated whether to include this in the video but it's something that I've been telling a lot of people about. It's a website called Parcel Hero. So you may have no need to post stuff at the moment and I'm sure most people don't need to post anything but you may know I've been selling a few bits and bobs on Depop and directly email me if you would like the link to my Google Drive folder where I'm selling things before they go on Depop because it's so much easier. But to get things sent out obviously I'm not wanting to go to the post office at the moment and this website called Parcel Hero. You basically type in your postcode, the parcel measurements and where it's going and it will compare loads of different couriers. So whether it's my Hermes or DPD, FedEx, UPS and then I can choose what service to send it with and someone will come to my door to collect the packages. So what I'm doing is putting them all in a big basket, leaving them outside the door so there's no interaction, keeping it as safe as possible and it has been an absolute lifesaver. So if you do want to send something to a friend or family member then I'd recommend checking out Parcel Hero. I have been doing Doing a few at home workouts lately as well. You will have seen me doing them if you've watched any of my vlogs. A few favourites that really spring to mind. There's a lady that I've just started following on Instagram called Natalie I think it's Clough or Clough, Natalie Clough. She is a bodyism Pilates instructor and every day at six o'clock or most days at 6 p.m. she does an Instagram live at Pilates. It's about 25 to 30 minutes. Most of the time all you need is your mat. To be honest, you could just do it on carpet if you don't have a fitness mat at home. And if you don't have time at six o'clock then they are available for a remaining 24 hours. So this morning, for example, I did last night's one this morning before my shower. Just a really nice way of pushing your body a little bit without overexerting yourself and getting yourself moving, stretching yourself, maybe moving muscles that you're not otherwise moving if you are just sat at your desk all day long. I've also been enjoying the workouts that Sweaty Betty are putting on their Instagram and their IGTV. I have just made an order of some new Sweaty Betty fitness clothes because I just want to feel good, I want to motivate myself to do more workouts at home, I always feel like a fresh set of fitness clothing does that. I believe my 20% off code for Sweaty Betty is now active Active, which is SB Josie 20 in case you wanted to pick up any gorgeous new fitness wear as well as that cycle which is a spin studio here in London they have got some really good classes again on their IGTV I've done some of their Metcon metabolic conditioning exercises which are quite intense you do get really sweaty so if you do want to burn some serious calories in a short amount of time I'd highly recommend those so they're the main exercises that I've been doing from home and they're all free which is fantastic Vita Liberata Fabulous Self Tanning Mist is what I've been using to just maintain a really nice natural colour. I love a tan mist because it's so versatile. You can either spray this onto your mitt um, and pop it direct on your skin. This is a clear solution so even if you've got white sheets or white clothing then it's not going to mark anything. Just one layer and it'll give you a really beautiful natural tan. I probably would say I've got one layer on at the moment. You can also use this on your face, you can just mist it directly onto your face and because we're all washing our hands so much more often I find that my hands are quite often a good few shades paler than my body so what I'll do is I'll turn my rings around, make a hand shape as though I'm holding quite a big grapefruit and then I'll just mist some of this over my hands and that will just give them a really lovely colour so I have been using this maybe twice a week, more frequently on the face and hands and I'm absolutely loving it. This is a fairly new launch from Vita Liberata. And finally, I have to say, it's my Thermomix and in particular their Cookie Do website. So as you may know, I have this amazing contraption in my kitchen, which is the Thermomix. I'm always going on about it. I use it every single day, whether it's for making a soup, a smoothie, um, bread, anything. And with their website or app, which is called Cookie Do, you can type in the ingredients that you've got and it will show you what recipes you can make, which is fantastic when we are trying to make the most of everything that is in our cupboards, everything that's in our freezer ingredients that normally I might not touch or I might not know what to do with. Of course not everybody has a Thermomix, if you have then I'm sure you are loving using it at the moment but generally just being more experimental in the kitchen, trying to see the silver lining and experiment with the recipes, cook things that maybe you didn't have time to spend chopping or sauteing previously. Discovering new things, I did a banana and oat muffin recipe on one of my latest vlogs and so many of you have, mes have messaged me already on Instagram showing me your versions of those muffins which is amazing. 
there are so many things that we now maybe have a little bit more time to do that previously we didn't which is of course fantastic something else really quick to mention i know i always talk about fashion but dresses i have just been loving wearing dresses lately they have become my new loungewear i've decided that i'm tired of tracksuit bottoms all the time and sometimes i just want to feel a little bit more girly i want to feel a bit more feminine a bit more like me and I've been wearing dresses like this one here, so comfortable and easy to wear, as well as this one, of course, my, I'm just obsessed, my H&M floral dress. It's so easy to throw on. This was, I think, 19.99. I was on their website this morning and I saw that they bought this out, but in a beautiful plain pink pattern. So I just added that to my basket as well. And also this gorgeous straw hat with a ribbon underneath the chin which is just going to look so cute in summer. What else did I order? Oh and this really lovely skirt. H&M at the moment is just smashing it. There are so many gorgeous things but I'm loving just popping on a really easy day dress that I can wear around the house. It's just as comfortable if not more comfortable than wearing loungewear and I just feel so much more like me. So those are my stay at home favourites. Darlings, I hope you enjoyed hearing me have a little natter about my favourite things as I mentioned at the beginning please do let me know what little things you are really loving at the moment what's making your day what's what are you looking forward to each and every day please let me know down in the comment section below everything that I've mentioned will be linked down there in case I've inspired you to check something out and darlings stay tuned for tomorrow's video if you haven't already I would love it if you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos darlings that's all from me I'll see you soon in the next one bye